David had a nagging suspicion that his wife, Sarah, was cheating on him. She was spending long hours at work, and when she came home, she was distant and preoccupied. David tried to talk to her about it, but she always brushed him off, insisting that everything was fine. One day, David decided to take matters into his own hands. He installed hidden cameras in their home to catch Sarah in the act. He knew it was a risky move, but he couldn't shake the feeling that something was going on. David spent the next few days nervously watching the footage from the cameras. He didn't see anything suspicious at first, but then he noticed that Sarah was spending a lot of time on her phone, texting and giggling like a schoolgirl. One night, David couldn't take it anymore. He confronted Sarah, showing her the footage from the hidden cameras. She denied everything at first, but eventually broke down and confessed that she had been having an affair with a coworker. David was devastated. He had always prided himself on his marriage and his loyalty to his wife, and now he felt like a fool. He demanded that Sarah end the affair and cut all ties with the other man, but she begged him to forgive her. For days, David struggled with what to do. He loved Sarah, but he didn't know if he could ever trust her again. Eventually, he agreed to give their marriage another chance, but only if Sarah promised to go to counseling with him and be completely honest about everything that had happened. Sarah agreed, and they started seeing a therapist together. It was a difficult process, but gradually they began to work through their issues and rebuild their relationship. One day, as they were leaving the therapist's office, Sarah suddenly dropped to her knees in front of David. She begged him for forgiveness, tears streaming down her face. David was taken aback by the gesture, but he could see that Sarah was truly remorseful. He took her hand and helped her to her feet, embracing her tightly. In that moment, David realized that forgiveness was possible, even in the face of betrayal. It wouldn't be easy, but he was willing to try. And as he held his wife in his arms, he knew that they would face whatever challenges lay ahead together. I was still stunned as she tried to approach me again, but I stepped back. My mind was racing with questions. Why did she do it? Was it a one-time mistake or a pattern of behavior? How could I ever trust her again? As she continued to plead and cry, I realized that I needed some time to process everything. I told her to leave and give me space to think. She begged me not to leave her, but I needed time to figure out what to do. She left, sobbing and promising to do whatever it took to make things right. The next few days were a blur. I couldn't eat or sleep. I couldn't focus on anything other than what had happened. I kept replaying the video footage in my mind, trying to make sense of it all. After a few days, I decided to talk to a therapist. I needed someone to help me sort through my emotions and figure out what to do next. It was the best decision I ever made. The therapist helped me see that I had a lot of anger and hurt that I needed to work through before I could make any decisions. Over the next few weeks, I continued to see the therapist and slowly began to process what had happened. I still loved my wife, but I didn't know if I could ever trust her again. I wasn't sure if our marriage was salvageable. Eventually, my wife and I started talking again. She was apologetic and remorseful. She answered all of my questions honestly, even though it was painful for both of us. We talked about what had led her to cheat and what we could do to prevent it from happening again. In the end, we decided to try and work things out. It wasn't easy. We had to rebuild trust from scratch, but we were both committed to making it work. We went to therapy together and individually, and slowly but surely, we started to heal. It's been several years since that fateful day when I caught my wife cheating. Our relationship isn't perfect, but it's stronger than ever. We still have moments of doubt and fear, but we've learned to communicate better and be more honest with each other. I never thought that installing hidden cameras would lead to this, but I'm grateful for what it taught me. It showed me that love isn't always easy, but it's worth fighting for. And it taught me that sometimes, the only way to rebuild trust is to confront the hard truths and work through them together. At this point, I was fed up with her lies and deception. 
I couldn't believe that the woman I had trusted and loved for so many years had been leading a double life behind my back. But despite everything, I still loved her. I couldn't bear the thought of ending our marriage, so I decided to give her another chance. I confronted her about the affair, and she broke down in tears. She begged for my forgiveness and promised to never cheat on me again. I was skeptical, but I wanted to believe her. I agreed to work on our marriage and give her the opportunity to regain my trust. However, I made it clear that if she ever cheated on me again, it would be over between us for good. We spent the next few months in couples therapy, and slowly but surely, we began to repair the damage that had been done to our relationship. It was a difficult journey, but we were both committed to making it work. Today, several years later, our marriage is stronger than ever. We have learned to communicate better, and we make sure to always be open and honest with each other. I no longer feel the need to spy on my wife or monitor her every move, because I know that she loves me and would never betray me again. In hindsight, installing hidden cameras to catch my wife cheating was a mistake. It caused more harm than good and almost ended our marriage. But it also forced us to confront the issues in our relationship and work to fix them. And for that, I will always be grateful. As soon as I saw her crying on her knees, I felt a strange mixture of anger and pity. Anger for what she had done and pity for seeing her in such a vulnerable state. I couldn't help but wonder if this was all an act, a ploy to get me to forgive her and forget what she had done. But as she continued to sob, I realized that there was no way she could fake such raw emotion. She looked like a shell of the woman I once knew, and it broke my heart to see her like this. I didn't know what to do. I had spent so long planning my revenge, installing hidden cameras and gathering evidence of her infidelity, but now that the moment had come, I didn't feel any satisfaction in seeing her suffer. In that moment, I realized that I still loved her, despite everything. I had been so focused on catching her in the act and proving that she was a liar and a cheat that I had forgotten why we fell in love in the first place. I knelt down next to her and took her hand. She looked up at me with red, puffy eyes, and I could see the fear and desperation in her gaze. I'm sorry, she whispered, her voice barely audible. I know I messed up. I was stupid and selfish, and I hurt you. But please, please give me another chance. I didn't say anything for a moment. I just looked at her, trying to make sense of my emotions. Finally, I spoke. I don't know if I can forgive you, not yet, I said, but I'm willing to try. We had a lot of work to do if we're going to make this work. She nodded, still holding onto my hand. I could see the hope in her eyes, and it gave me a glimmer of hope too. Over the next few weeks, we went to couples therapy and talked through our issues. It was hard work, but we both put in the effort to try and repair our relationship. Slowly but surely, we started to rebuild the trust that had been shattered. We went on dates, took long walks together, and talked openly and honestly about our feelings. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Eventually, we found our way back to each other, and we were stronger than ever before. Looking back, I'm grateful that I installed those hidden cameras. It was a wake-up call that forced us to confront our problems and work through them. But I'm even more grateful that I found it in my heart to forgive my wife and give our marriage another chance. It was a risk, but it was one that paid off in the end. After weeks of counseling and talking, John decided to give his marriage another chance. He saw that his wife was truly sorry for her actions and was willing to work on their relationship. They both started attending therapy sessions together and separately to work on their individual issues. Slowly, but surely, they started to rebuild their trust and love for each other. Years went by, and John and his wife had two more children. They had their ups and downs, but they always managed to work through their problems together. John had learned that sometimes it's better to trust your instincts and take action, but it's also important to forgive and move forward if you truly want to save your relationship. Looking back, John realized that the hidden cameras had saved his marriage in a way. If he hadn't installed them and caught his wife cheating, they might have continued living a lie 
and eventually separated without ever addressing their underlying issues. But he was grateful that they were able to face their problems and come out stronger on the other side. John decided to delete the footage from the cameras, as it was a reminder of a painful time in their lives. He knew that the trust they had rebuilt was more important than any evidence of past infidelity. From that day on, John vowed to never let his insecurities get the best of him and to always communicate openly and honestly with his wife. Months passed by and Jack and Maria began to attend therapy sessions together. Jack had initially been hesitant to go, but he knew it was necessary if they wanted to save their marriage. The therapy sessions helped them open up to each other and address the underlying issues that had caused their relationship to deteriorate. Jack realized that his obsession with work had caused him to neglect his marriage, and Maria acknowledged that her actions were a result of feeling neglected and unloved. Through their sessions, they learned to communicate better and express their needs and feelings more effectively. They began to spend more quality time together and rekindled the love they had for each other. One day, Jack received a call from Maria while he was at work. She sounded panicked and asked him to come home immediately. When he arrived, he found her in tears, holding a pregnancy test. Jack was stunned. They had been trying to conceive for years with no success. Maria explained that she had been going to a fertility clinic in secret and had undergone several rounds of IVF. She had kept it from Jack because she was afraid he wouldn't understand and would think less of her for not being able to conceive naturally. But now, she needed him more than ever, and she couldn't keep this secret any longer. Jack was overwhelmed with emotion. He realized that he had been so focused on his work that he had missed out on the most important moments of their lives. He held Maria in his arms, and they both cried tears of joy and relief. From that day on, Jack and Maria made a commitment to each other to prioritize their marriage and family above everything else. They welcomed their son a few months later, and he became the center of their world. Looking back on everything, Jack knew that installing the hidden cameras had been a mistake. But in a strange way, it had also been a wake-up call that had saved their marriage. They had both learned valuable lessons about trust, communication, and the importance of being present in each other's lives. And for that, Jack was grateful. Mark finally arrived at the hotel, feeling numb and confused. He had never expected to catch his wife cheating on him. After the confrontation, he had no idea what to do next. Mark sat in his car for what felt like hours, staring blankly at the steering wheel. He was too ashamed to face his friends or family. The thought of going back home made him sick to his stomach. Eventually, Mark drove to a nearby park and sat on a bench. He watched as families played on the grass and children ran around, their laughter echoing through the air. He wondered if he would ever feel happiness again. Days turned into weeks, and Mark found himself drowning in a sea of emotions. He was angry at his wife for cheating on him, but he was also angry at himself for not seeing the signs. He was sad that his marriage had fallen apart, but he was also relieved that he had found out before things got worse. One day, Mark received a call from his wife. She begged him to come back to her, promising that she would never cheat on him again. Mark didn't know what to do. Part of him still loved his wife, but another part of him couldn't forgive her for what she had done. After weeks of thinking, Mark decided to meet his wife in person. They sat across from each other at a cafe, neither of them speaking for what felt like an eternity. Finally, Mark spoke. I love you, but I can't trust you anymore, he said. I need time to heal and figure things out. His wife nodded, tears streaming down her face. I understand, she said. I'll do whatever it takes to earn your trust back. And so, Mark and his wife began the long road to rebuilding their relationship. It wasn't easy, and there were many times when Mark thought about giving up. But he stuck with it. And eventually, things started to get better. Years passed, and Mark and his wife were happy again. They had learned to communicate better, and their love for each other had grown stronger. Mark never forgot about the pain his wife had caused him but he had forgiven her, and that was what mattered. Mark still had the hidden cameras in his home, but he never turned them on again. 
He didn't need them anymore. He had learned that trust is something that can't be forced or bought. It has to be earned, and that's exactly what his wife had done. The next day, I went to my therapist and told him everything that had happened. He listened attentively and gave me some valuable advice. He told me that forgiveness was a process and it would take time to heal the wounds. He suggested that we go to couples therapy and work through our issues together. I agreed with my therapist and we started attending sessions. In therapy, we both share our feelings and thoughts with each other and learned how to communicate better. Slowly but surely, we started rebuilding our relationship. It has been a year since that fateful day, and I can say that our marriage is stronger than ever. My wife and I have learned to trust each other again and have developed a deeper understanding of one another. I still have the footage from the cameras, but I have never watched it again. The pain and hurt that it caused are no longer a part of our lives. In the end, I realized that sometimes the greatest love stories are the ones that have to overcome the biggest obstacles. We are proof that with honesty, forgiveness, and hard work, love can survive even the most challenging of times.